I was diagnosed with PCOS back in 2019, been losing my hair since 2015, and now I have done everything in my power to get back my healthy hair. And let me show you how you could do the same. Now the first step is probably the most important thing. If you don't listen to anything else that I say today, listen to this one thing. The first step is to change your mindset. So what do I mean by that? That means let's focus on what we want, not what we don't want. No more of this, oh, I'm suffering. We gotta cut all that out. Why? Because what you focus on multiplies. Instead, let's start saying I'm healing, right? Because your body listens to everything that you say and it believes you. So if you say I'm healing from it, what is your body gonna do? Oh, we gotta start, we gotta start putting the right things in order to start healing. But if you say you're suffering from it, if you focusing on how, you know, X, Y, Z is going on, what's gonna happen, those things are going to multiply so we are healing your hair was falling out your hair was thinning but not no more because now you got me you still with me we still good all right all right let's go let's go now step number two is to find a licensed cosmetologist that you trust I know a bunch of you probably just said to yourself now where am I supposed to find a licensed cosmetologist I would suggest if you don't already have one just try to do a Google search of one in your area. You never know what might pop up and be sure to check the reviews to see what other people are saying. Even if you don't find anybody in your area, don't be above going up to somebody that you see whose hair is flourishing and ask them, who they go to. Matter of fact, I'll share with you who I go to. She's actually my cousin, but she's been doing hair since before I can remember. And I'm gonna share her information with you a little bit later on in the video because she actually has a product that is gonna be another one of the steps that I think will be really helpful on your journey. Now, step number three. <laughs> okay, no. I turned around like a super villain. Okay, no, 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 let me try it again, let me try it again. Okay, all right, all right. Now step, <laughs> nope, nope. So step number three is to find a wash day routine that helps you build and repair your hair back to health. Now thanks to my homegirl Sindal, I have stumbled upon using Olaplex, which I've been using for probably a little over six months now and I absolutely love it. Now Sindal is also a licensed cosmetologist, so she knows her stuff. And she has a, a YouTube channel that I'll link down below that you can check out. She's got so many videos with a ton of knowledge in it. She even has a video that uh, talks about herbs that you can use for PCOS. I would highly, highly recommend that you check her out. However, and these are her words, not mine. If you're sensitive, you just might wanna go on. But listen, she gonna tell you like it is. She's got great information. Don't miss the blessing. So if you're sensitive, I say this with love, go ahead and go and get over it. Don't miss your blessing, okay? Okay. Now step number four is to consider using a hair supplement such as Nutrafol. Now there are plenty of hair supplements out there, but there was one thing about Nutrafol that really made me hone in on this particular product. Now, if you're familiar with PCOS, you know that it is a whole stupid hormonal disorder and Nutrafol actually tackles hair loss on a hormonal level. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, yes, yes, sir. Take take my money, just, just here, you can have it. So I have actually been using Nutrafol for going on four months now. I have been documenting my journey with it. I got a whole playlist for you. So if you wanna check it out, feel free. And just to address the elephant in the room, I am not being paid to say this. I bought it with my own money. Just rest assured, I have no reason to say this other than the fact that I have had a pleasant experience with Nutrafol. Now, don't get mad at me for saying this, but we gotta take a look at our diet and our lifestyle. Now, I know better than anybody that PCOS makes it a little more difficult, a little more complicated to lose weight and keep it off, but that shouldn't stop you from making sure you're putting the right things into your body and making sure you're moving your body by getting exercise. At the very least, you're putting vital vitamins and minerals into your body, and by exercising, you're improving circulation and blood flow, especially to your scalp, which does increase growth. It's one of those things that probably not going to make a huge difference on its own. If you're having hair loss from PCOS, however, it can't hurt and it's something that can probably be super helpful if you combine it with a lot of other tips that I'm sharing in this video. Tip number six is I am a hypocrite.
Yep, yep, and I'm gonna tell y'all about myself in a second. Um, also, I'm washing my comforter, so I know. I know, it's distracting, you can't unsee it now. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. My tip for number six is to invest in a Revere reverse hair dryer. Why is this thing important? Well, what I've noticed is my hair has been able to retain moisture when I keep it in a stretch state. Basically, whenever I use the Revere, I'll give myself a blowout and then I'll twist up my hair with the blown out hair. I'll use something like a mousse that doesn't cause my hair to revert too much so it doesn't get too shriveled up. But I've noticed when I do it that way, I'm able to retain a lot of the moisture because the sebum or whatever products I'm using is able to do this rather than needing to do this. Does that make sense? So I would highly suggest if you're having those same issues, pick up a Revere reverse hair dryer. I do not own one. Yep. Yep, yep. I am guilty of the little sister syndrome. Uh, my big sister has a Revere. So therefore I have one, but not really. I just borrow hers. If you need to, you can break up the payments into like four payments, I think. Or you could do it like me and my sister do because I've been using her Revere a lot and it's making some weird noises. So I think I'm just gonna purchase a new one uh, that we'll both share. Anyway, if you need to, if you need to budget it out to buy one, do so because it is well worth it, especially if you were dealing with some thinning with your hair. That's so perfect. Oh, that's perfect. And my battery running out. Look at that. Look at God. Look at God. Look at him. Step number seven, or tip, or step. Have I been doing steps or tips? Tip number seven is more of a maintenance thing. Now, if you are like me and you don't always like to do your hair to go out, but you still wanna be cute, this is going to be perfect for you. So remember my cosmetologist cousin that I talked about earlier? Well, she has the perfect product for women like us. So you might wanna look into her signature product, an e-cap. So you might be asking, what is an e-cap, right? So this right here, is her product, ECAP, and I got the auburn color, which is so beautiful, you can see. So you can get this um, pretty much custom made to what you'd like. I'll have her website listed down below so you can check out the ECAP, you can fully customize it, you can get different colors, different hats, you can even bling out some of the hats. You have your fair share of choices with this. But basically, the unit is connected to the cap. So once you put the cap on, nobody's gotta know that it's a weave, you know, or you can let people know like me, cause I, I just, I, I, I can't not say it. If someone's like, oh, your hair's so pretty, it's a wig, girl. I can't help it. <laughs> so if you're like me and you just wanna give your hair a break and you still wanna be cute, go ahead and get you one of the E-caps.